Right, so one of the most annoying subjects in medical school is pharmacology. There's just too much drug names to know, with their own complex mechanisms of action, in drug-drug interactions, and a long list of side effects that you have to memorize. And you can easily get overwhelmed by all of it and not know what to do with all of that information. So in this episode of Study Club, our ongoing series, we will discuss the tips and tricks of how to study basic medical sciences subjects in medical school. We're gonna go over the three things you can do to help you with studying pharmacology in medical school. Let's get into it. Now, tip Number one is to use recommended books. Now, one of the resources I used when I was in medical school was the Katzung Basic and Clinical Pharmacology. And when I was studying for the board exams, I used the Katzung Examination and Board Review, which has end of chapter questions with answers and explanations. And so you can practice with active recall to check whether you really understood and remember what you just read. Now, when studying pharmacology, you can easily fall into the trap of obsessing over the details in your textbook, which will lead you to get overwhelmed. Because there's just too much stuff in there and there's no way you're gonna be tested in all of it. And the way to know which ones are important for the exam and for clinical practice is to use your lecture notes and to use first aid as a guideline for knowing the concepts that medical students are expected to know or what you will be most likely be tested on. Now tip number two is to use a lot of mnemonics. And what's good with studying subjects like physiology is that you just gotta read through the book, understand it, and then it would all make sense. And you wouldn't need to use memory tricks to remember. Say for example that blood goes from the heart and then goes goes to the lungs for oxygenation and then back to the heart because the knowledge is intuitive. Now, the thing about pharmacology is that there are a lot of facts that are not intuitive. And what I mean by that is that, say for example, you can't look at the mechanism of action of say, rifampin and know that it inhibits the DNA dependent RNA polymerase and get a good sense of why it is one of the potential inducers of cytochrome P450. And that's one of the kinds of situations where you have to use mnemonics. And when using mnemonics, the more effective ones are the ones that mean something to you so that you'll less likely forget about it. Most of the time, I use the pre-made mnemonics in first aid, or if that doesn't work for you, you can just Google it. Most of the time, you will find mnemonics that people have already made and shared on the internet, and that works as well. Now, tip number three is answer a lot of MCQs. Now, you can do this by answering sample exams or past exams, and aside from doing the most effective study technique, you get the double benefit of knowing what sort of questions they're gonna ask you in your exams, and you can sort of tailor your way of studying towards that sort of thing. And this makes your learning style a bit more efficient. And the more efficient you are in preparing for your exams, the less difficult your life will be in medical school. But some students, however, feel uncomfortable answering MCQs when they still haven't gone through the material. But hear me out. In pharmacology, there will be a lot of concepts that may not seem important for you at first glance, but eventually you'll find out that they are actually the ones that are most important. And answering past exams will help you with that. Now, if you like this video and you want to know more tips for studying in medical school, check out this one right here, which is about how to study microbiology in medical school. Now, thank you so much for watching and do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and see you in the next video. Bye.